Hey there, first grade foxes. Welcome back to Math Mountain. Today, we are going to work on how to use doubles as a math strategy. Now, we've never done doubles before, but today, we're gonna learn all about them. All right, first off, I have a new 10 frame chart. What do you notice about this 10 frame chart? Right, there are two of them. There's a 10 frame here and a 10 frame there. Now, if a 10 frame has 10 squares, then how many squares do we have on this page? Right, 10 plus 10 equals 20. We have double the 10 frames. All right, now let's do a little fun exercise. Remember how we've been doing some quick looks where we take a quick picture in our mind and that helps us to count them really quickly? All right, well, today's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. We're gonna do some quick looks with double 10 frames. Are you guys ready for the challenge? All right, get ready. Here comes your first quick look. How many dots did you see? Oh, great job. You saw four dots in this 10 frame and four dots in that 10 frame. So how many dots are there all together? Eight, nice job, because four plus four equals eight. And if we wrote that as a number model, it would be four plus four equals eight. Nice job, okay, here comes your next quick look. All right, you guys are gonna have to be super quick now. Here it comes. What did you see this time? It was a little different, wasn't it? Do you need another quick look? There we go. How many dots are on the 10 frame this time? Right, we saw five on one 10 frame and five on the other. And we know that five plus five equals 10. So we could write that one also as a number sentence. Five plus five equals 10. Nice job, first graders. All right, here comes another one. It's a little bit trickier. Ready? Whoa, that was pretty hard. Do you need another one, another quick look? Okay. What did you see this time? Oh, yeah, this was a little harder and trickier, wasn't it? But you notice that there were six over here because two, four, six, there's six in this 10 frame and there was the same amount in the other 10 frame. So six plus six equals 12. You're right. So let's go ahead and write that one as a number sentence. Six plus six equals 12. All right, here's our very last one, okay? Possibly the trickiest of all. Okay, here we go. Did you get it? All right, here it comes. What did you notice about the 10 frames this time? Whoa, you did. You noticed that there was just one missing in each of the 10 frames. So there must be nine in this 10 frame because 10, take away that one, is nine. And they're both the same. So nine plus nine, ooh, nine plus nine, that's a big number. Well, if we know that there's 20 squares all together, and we take two of those away, we could count backwards from 20. So we could go 19, 18. Oh, nine plus nine equals 18. Whoa, that was so tricky. Let's go ahead and write that as a number sentence. Nine plus nine equals 18. Ooh, nice. 
nice job, first graders. Now let's take a look at all of those double 10 frames that we took a look at. What do you notice about these number sentences? You're right. In each one of the number sentences, we have a number plus itself. This is what we call doubles. Whenever you take a number and you add the number to itself, it's a double. So we're going to add this to our math strategy wall. So we have two plus itself, which is two, equals four. We can use that as a math strategy. Five plus five equals 10. We added a number and itself. It's the same number. So six plus six equals 12. Nine plus nine. Those are double. All right, now we're gonna do a little activity and we're gonna practice figuring out which number sentences are doubles. Okay, I've made a chart up here on our board to help us sort out which one of our number sentences are doubles and which one is not doubles, okay? So remember, a doubles fact is when you have one number and you add itself, okay? So just like we had four plus four, five plus five, six plus six, that is a doubles fact, okay? So I have some sticky notes with some number sentences on them. I want you to take a look at the number sentence and tell me, is it a doubles fact or is it not a doubles fact? And maybe sometimes you might not be sure. That's okay too. All right, here's the first number sentence. One plus one. Is this a doubles fact or not a doubles fact? Right, it's a doubles fact because it's one plus itself. It's the same number. So we're gonna put this over here in the doubles column. All right, here comes the next one. Is this a doubles fact or not a doubles fact? This one's not a doubles fact because it's two plus a different number. It's not plus itself. So it's not a doubles fact. How about this one? Five plus five, you're right. You got that one quick. Five plus five is a doubles fact because it's the number plus itself. All right, so let's put it over here. Let's see, how about this one? 10 plus 10, whoa, that's a big one. You're right, this is also a doubles fact. 10 plus itself, 10 plus 10. How about this one? No, seven plus three. It's not seven plus itself. It's a different number. So this one is not a doubles fact. All right, here comes another one. Nine plus nine, doubles or not? Doubles, you're right, it's nine plus itself. All right, here comes another one. Tell me, is this a doubles or not? 12 plus 12, it's the same number, it's by itself. So 12 plus itself, ah, that rhymes, 12 plus itself. All right, now this one might be trickier. Is this a doubles fact or not a doubles fact? Look really closely. We have 13 plus not 13, this is 31. 13 plus 31, that's not a doubles fact. Because 13 is different than 31. They're two different numbers. All right, 20 plus 20. You're right, it is a doubles fact. That was a good one. All right, 
looks like you guys are getting really good with your doubles. Now what I want you to do is I want you to practice doing them on your own.